Something rare is about to happen. A wave of Arctic air is heading south, and it's about to rewrite the weather story for millions of people. This powerful cold front is bringing snow to places that almost never see it, turning familiar streets into winter wonderlands overnight. Cities like Bristol, Bordeaux, and the coasts of Ireland are bracing for a winter spectacle that will be talked about for years to come. Imagine waking up to the Clifton Suspension Bridge or Bordeaux's vineyards blanketed in white, a scene more common in postcards than in real life. These aren't fantasy scenes, weather models predict them for the coming week, and meteorologists are watching closely as the forecast unfolds. For millions it'll be a memorable transformation, a reminder of the power and unpredictability of our climate. Streets will be hushed by snow, and daily routines will pause for a moment of awe. This isn't just a cold snap, it's what meteorologists call an Arctic outbreak, a rare event that can reshape entire regions for days. While global temperatures rise, our climate can still deliver extremes, both hot and cold. It's a reminder that weather is full of surprises, even in a warming world. A shift high above the North Pole can decide if you need boots or a light jacket in Western Europe. The jet stream's path can bring sudden changes, sometimes overnight. For many, it's a moment of wonder. Children building their first snowman, photographers capturing rare sights, and neighbors coming together to marvel at the transformation. But it's also disruptive. Travel, agriculture, and daily life will be affected. Roads may close, trains could be delayed, and farmers will face new challenges in their fields. That's why it's crucial to pay attention to forecasts and prepare for the unexpected, whether it's stocking up on supplies or planning your commute. This event is a perfect chance to learn about our planet's complex weather and to talk with family and friends about how climate shapes our lives. The Arctic's deep freeze is about to visit places that usually escape its reach, bringing a taste of winter to regions more familiar with rain than snow. Get ready for a story of snow where you least expect it, an event that will be remembered long after the last flake melts. The weather is about to surprise us all, reminding us that nature always has the final word. Stay tuned as we explore how and why this is happening and what it means for the future of our changing climate. What exactly is an Arctic outbreak, and why does it matter so much? It's when the coldest, densest air on Earth escapes its usual home in the Arctic and surges southward, invading regions that are often unprepared for such a dramatic chill. Normally, the Arctic acts like a giant freezer, with the door shut tight keeping its icy air locked away at the top of the world. But every so often, that freezer door swings wide open and a mass of frigid, bone-chilling air spills out, racing south across continents. This isn't your average cold front. It's a meteorological event that can drop temperatures by 10, 15, or even 20 degrees Celsius in just a matter of days, catching people and infrastructure off guard. The result? Ice, heavy frost, and snow blanketing places that rarely see such extremes. Sometimes even palm trees and Mediterranean coastlines are dusted white. These powerful outbreaks are driven by large-scale atmospheric patterns, especially the jet stream and the polar vortex, which act as invisible barriers and highways for cold air. The jet stream, a fast-moving river of air high above us, usually keeps polar air bottled up in the north, acting like a fence. But when the jet stream develops big wavy bends, called troughs, it can channel Arctic air far to the south, unleashing winter's full force on unsuspecting regions. Right now, a stubborn high-pressure dome over Greenland is blocking the usual west-to-east flow, forcing the jet stream to dive sharply south over Western Europe. This setup creates a direct, unobstructed pathway for pure, unmodified polar air to surge straight into France and Ireland, bypassing the usual warming influences of land and sea. That's why this cold snap will be so intense and so sudden, catching cities and people by surprise. It's a direct delivery from the Arctic itself, not air that's been warmed or softened by its journey over land or ocean. The stage is set for a dramatic, icy transformation, one that will turn familiar landscapes into winter wonderlands almost overnight. So, let's look high above the clouds to see exactly what's happening in the atmosphere to make this rare event possible. You've heard of the polar vortex. It's not a monster, but a swirling mass of cold air circling the poles. In winter, it strengthens, acting as a gatekeeper that locks Arctic air in place. When the vortex is strong, the jet stream flows straight, keeping cold air up north and milder air to the south. 
but sometimes, the vortex gets disrupted, like a spinning top that starts to wobble. This can happen when powerful weather systems push upward, causing sudden stratospheric warming. The vortex weakens, stretches, or even splits, breaking down the barrier. That's when Arctic air escapes, plunging south into mid-latitudes. This is exactly what's happening now. The gatekeeper has been disturbed. The result? A lobe of frigid air is about to sweep into Europe. The polar vortex's wobble is the key to this rare event. When the gate opens, the cold doesn't stay put. The Arctic's chill is on the move. Let's break down how this disruption unfolds. The polar vortex is under stress. Weather models show a powerful pulse of energy has warmed the stratosphere over the Arctic. This sudden warming stretches the vortex into a long, oval shape, with one end over Siberia and the other over Canada. Down below, this disruption makes the jet stream wavier and slower. Deep troughs form, channeling cold air into new regions. Right now, a trough is forming over Western Europe, creating a slide for Arctic air. This air, coming straight from the pole, hasn't had time to warm up. It's not a typical cold front, it's a direct result of a major atmospheric disruption. The chain stratospheric warming weakens the vortex, the jet stream wobbles, and Arctic air pours south. This sequence shows just how connected our atmosphere is. The science behind this split explains the rare cold about to hit. Bristol rarely sees real snow. Its mild, rainy winters are thanks to the nearby Atlantic. For snow to stick, the air must be cold from top to bottom, and the wind must come from the north or northeast. This Arctic outbreak brings exactly those conditions. Frigid, dry air sweeping in, picking up moisture over the North Sea. The result? Sea effect snow showers, blanketing the city in white. Landmarks like the Clifton Suspension Bridge and Totterdown's colorful houses will be transformed. But hills will become treacherous, schools may close, and transport will be disrupted. Bristol isn't built for snow. This will be both magical and challenging. It's a vivid reminder of how weather can upend daily life. Even modern cities are at the mercy of the elements. Bordeaux is famous for wine, not snow. Its mild climate rarely allows for a winter blanket. But this Arctic outbreak will overwhelm the usual ocean warmth. Frigid air will sweep south, dropping temperatures well below freezing. Any moisture will fall as snow, covering vineyards and city squares alike. The sight of white vines and a quiet snow-covered Place de la Bourse will be unforgettable. For winemakers, snow can insulate roots, but a deep freeze can also threaten the vines. This rare event will be the talk of the region, a stunning but challenging transformation. Even the Garonne River may see ice along its banks. Bordeaux's winter wonderland is a powerful example of how far-reaching Arctic air can be. When the atmosphere shifts, even the mildest places can feel winter's full force. Ireland's lush green coasts almost never see snow, thanks to the warm Atlantic and prevailing southwest winds. But this time, a bitter northeasterly wind will overpower the ocean's warmth. Frigid Arctic air will sweep across the UK and into Ireland, picking up moisture over the seas. For the first time in years, green fields and rugged cliffs will turn white. Iconic sites like the cliffs of Moher and Kinsale Harbor will be dusted with snow. The Ring of Kerry could become a winter wonderland. But beauty comes with disruption. Farmers will worry, and rural travel will be dangerous. This rare event is a stark reminder. Even the mildest corners of Europe aren't immune to Arctic power. When the right conditions align, the Emerald Isle becomes a snowy spectacle. The weather's reach is truly global. This Arctic outbreak will be powerful, but brief. The deep trough guiding the cold air won't last long. The event will span just three to four days. The jet stream will soon flatten, cutting off the Arctic supply. Milder Atlantic air will return, and the snow will quickly melt. For Bristol, Bordeaux, and Ireland, it'll be a fleeting taste of true Arctic winter. The rapid shift will feel surreal, a dreamlike interruption of the usual season. These short, intense cold snaps may become more common as the climate changes. They're reminders that climate change means more extremes, not just steady warming. This event is a case study in our planet's wild variability. How can we have record cold in a warming world? It seems like a contradiction. If the planet is heating up, shouldn't winters be milder, not harsher? 
Yet, here we are, facing frigid temperatures and heavy snowfall. The answer lies in the difference between climate and weather. Weather is what we experience day to day, while climate is the long-term pattern over decades. The planet's average temperature is rising, but that doesn't erase cold snaps. Even as the world warms, local and temporary extremes can still occur. In fact, a warming Arctic can destabilize the polar vortex, making the jet stream wavier. This means cold Arctic air can spill much farther south than usual. This allows Arctic air to escape and plunge south, creating paradoxical cold spells. These outbreaks can be sudden and severe, catching cities off guard. So, even as global averages rise, short-term extremes, like this outbreak, can still happen. It's a reminder that climate change doesn't mean the end of winter, but rather more unpredictable and intense swings. Think of it as a freezer with a faulty door. The kitchen gets warmer but cold blasts still escape. The overall trend is warming but the cold can still find its way out. This event doesn't disprove global warming, it may be a symptom of rapid Arctic change. Scientists are studying these links to better understand our shifting climate. Understanding these patterns helps us prepare for a future of unpredictable weather. It's crucial for cities, emergency services, and everyone who depends on reliable forecasts. We need cities and infrastructure ready for both heat and cold. Adaptation is key as extremes become more common. Supporting climate science is more important than ever. Research helps us predict, prepare, and protect our communities. The 2026 Arctic outbreak is more than a few snowy days. It's a lesson in atmospheric science. It's a real-world example of how global changes can trigger local extremes. It's a reminder of our planet's dynamic, interconnected systems. What happens in the Arctic can ripple across continents. And it shows why understanding our changing world matters for everyone. Because we're all connected by the climate we share.